Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online, or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. The Internet of Things, or more specifically, massive machine-type communications, is seen as being one of the three key pillars of a 5G system and in so doing is likely to drive a massive amount of the 5G traffic, supporting these many smart and intelligent things as they send data across the 5G network. However, for a lot of this data, the actual volume that we need to send will be typically very small. So wrapping it up inside an IP datagram can be considered to be very inefficient. Hence the term NID or non-IP data delivery. So how can we support this then across a 5G network? Well we can see on the diagram then a simplified 5G architecture. So as far as carrying non-IP traffic across the system we have two fundamental options. The first one came about in the release 15 of the 3GPP specifications when 5G was introduced. And here we could see that the traffic would have left the IoT application server and be delivered down to the UPF, the user plane function. And from here down to the GMB, across the new 5G Air interface and onto our IoT device. This would have been set up using a PDU session type set to unstructured data. Again, being able to carry any type of traffic, not requiring a specific IP address be that IPv4 or IPv6. Now, there's an alternative method for carrying NID, non-IP data delivery. And this can be achieved using a new node referred to as the NEF, the Network Exposure Function, which connects between our IoT application server and the SMF, the Session Management Function. So in this case, our non-IP data will be carried via the NEF down to the SMF. And it does so because the NEF can now expose northbound APIs, one of these being NID, non-IP data delivery. From the SMF then, the traffic will be delivered via the AMF, the Access and Mobility Management function, down to the GMB and once again across the 5G air interface down to our IoT device. Here we can see being carried a signalling or NAS signalling, non-access stratum. In particular, we can refer to this as control plane 5GS optimization. Now NID is not only going to be specific to 5G. And here now on the diagram, we've added a 4G radio, which is connecting back into the 5G core. So here we can see the non-IP data leaving the IoT application server and traveling via the NEF to the SMF, the AMF, and down, in this case, to our 4G radio, the NG e node B, and specifically across the 4G air interface. This is particularly important because it now means we can maintain narrowband IoT and LTM, two radio enhancements to our 4G system to support cellular IoT. Here then, plugging back into our 5G core and referenced in terms of NBN1 and WBN1. Need to know more? Why not visit our store, where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training. Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.